Hey boys and girls, I hope you're doing great today and I'm so excited to talk about the Bible with you. Today we're learning about how God rescued his people from Egypt. You see, God's people, the Israelites, were living in Egypt and they were working under Pharaoh. Pharaoh was kind of like the king and he was not nice to the Israelites. In fact, he was really, really mean. So God decided it was time to rescue his people and take them out of Egypt. To do that, he sent a man named Moses. But when God was rescuing his people, there was a little bit of a problem. The people didn't always trust him. In fact, Moses thought God had picked the wrong person and thought he wasn't good enough to do what God wanted him to do. Do you think God picked the wrong person though? No way. God's rescue was all about what he was doing and he just picked Moses to do it. There was no way God could pick the wrong person. And when God did rescue his people when Moses went, the people got upset with God because it wasn't always easy. So we see that the people didn't always trust God's rescue. Do you think God didn't rescue them? Of course he rescued them. Even though they didn't always trust him, God loved his people. And actually we know he sent the 10 plagues to prove to the whole world that he was the one true God who could do anything. So even when the people didn't trust him, God still loved them and rescued them. You know, when we read this story, sometimes it's hard to believe the people didn't trust God, but sometimes we don't trust God too. To talk about that, I brought with me this straw and this string. All right, so right now you see the string is through the straw. Now I'm gonna do something that's a little bit hard to believe. I'm going to bend this straw, okay? You see right there, and I, I'm going to cut it in half with these scissors and this string, which is still through it, you see right there, is not going to get cut. Ready? All right, let's see what happened. I'm gonna put my scissors down. I'm gonna open up the straw and look at that. The string is still in one piece. It might've seemed hard to believe, but I really did it, right? And you know what, sometimes we don't trust God. Sometimes things God does for us are kind of hard to believe. Sometimes we don't trust that he can take care of us or he can save us or that he loves us. Sometimes we doubt those things. But you know what? In our story, we saw that God is the one true God who can do anything. I did a simple little trick that you could do too, but God does miracles. And even when we doubt him, he still loves us, takes care of us, and saves us by sending his son. So that's what I want you to know today, boys and girls. The Israelites, they didn't always trust God, but he rescued them. Sometimes we might have trouble trusting God too, but he loves us and rescues us by his son, no matter what. Will you put your hands together and can we pray? Dear God, thank you for your great love. Help us to trust you always. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, boys and girls.